<clears throat> oh, I didn't drink my vitamin D. I forgot to bring my camera. Um, so I will just do a recap of what happened today, uh, Sunday, day after the pageant night. We went to visit a lot of family associations and um, we just walked from one, what is it? One, one off family association building to the next. And it was really nice. Everyone is super friendly and awesome. We got a lot of like snacks and red envelopes, which is like super nice. And I visited my Hakka family association today too which is really, really sweet, um, really nice. The chamber tries to find all family association from each contestant, so that can either be our last name or village. It's an extremely packed day and we visit multiple family associations. The president from each association will have a short speech and introduce their members to us. Then we all get introduced and we stand and wave when our names are called. This association had a special tradition of the queen playing ping pong with them. And then since we're in the neighborhood, we also stopped by the Golden Gate Fortune Cookie Bakery. I forgot my camera, so I'll use my phone. Yeah. <laughs> we just finished with some of the family association and now we're having lunch. <laughs> After lunch we went and visited more association and this is how we walked to each building. The volunteers helped us walk up and down Hilly SF. We also had to carefully walk up many flights of stairs because all the associations are located on higher floors of these old buildings. But this was definitely a once in a lifetime experience. To it, it's so hot. We just came back, our feet are in the It doesn't, um, this doesn't happen very often. Where like the bridge and the fog, it's like a very rare occurrence. Prime. Oh, Vanessa wants to say hi. Hold on, here we go, here we go. Oh, wow. Hello. Hello. Look at this. It smells so good. Cheers. Wow, Prime Rib. Tiramisu, literally my favorite. Oh my goodness. We're getting a boba, we're getting a teaspoon. <laughs> On this morning, I woke up early to do an interview for KTVU by myself. It was a live interview and I didn't get the questions beforehand, so that was nerve-wracking. After the interview, I was brought to this amazing Chinese New Year set. And that's where I filmed a New Year's greeting that was broadcasted during the parade later. Afterwards, I went back to the hotel to change and then we went to got brunch with everyone else. Oh, you're good for me, thank you. <laughs> Wow, I was just changing all day long because after brunch, we went to visit the Chinese Chambers of Commerce office and we learned some history about the chambers and then we just screwed around and made some TikTok videos. Got some mocktails. No idea what's in it, but we shall see. We're being treated to some ice cream. Ice cream rolls. They, they ate. We're going to Sacramento to do a winery tour, but no wine.
and the chisel marks on the wall from the labor of the carved wood cage with hammer and chisel over the course of the nine months. Carved, carved, carved. Is Vaughn trying to get hired here? <laughs> She's part of the tasting experience. Yes, a fun one. Hurt, hurt. <laughs> hey, dim sum. Dim sum, dim sum. All the food. Dim sum. I'm so excited. We ordered way too much food. Look at this. It's crazy. Not too much food. We're at a railroad museum in Sacramento. We're gonna learn about all the tiny laborers who has worked on the railroad. Introduce myself out there. Uh, my name is Debbie. I will be your guide today. I think these are the tickets. That's so cool. Look at all of them. Those are the little toy train models. Finish our tours and now we're at the Far East Cafe. We have dinner, got some steak, some chicken, some fried shrimp balls. And we're here along with some presidents from different family associations. Another day, another boba. Look at all our cameras, though. <laughs>